Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about difference between preventive maintenance and predictive maintenance. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to Lean Six Sigma and operation management. What is preventive maintenance? Preventive maintenance PM actions are carried out according to prescribed criteria of time, usage, or condition and are intended to reduce the probability of failure or the functional degradation of an item. PM actions usually require taking an operational item out of service and are intended to increase the span of its lifetime and or its reliability. PM actions are generally carried out at discrete time instants. Actions can range from relatively minor servicing requiring a short downtime, such as visual inspection, lubrication, testing, planned replacement of parts or components, and so forth, to major overhauls requiring a significant amount of downtime and proper planning and adequate resources. This figure illustrates an example of the statistical life of a machine train. The mean time to failure MTTF, or BAPTA curve indicates that a new machine has a high probability of failure because of installation problems during the first few weeks of operation. After this initial period, the probability of failure is relatively low for an extended period. After this normal machine life period, the probability of failure increases sharply with elapsed time. In preventive maintenance management, machine repairs or rebuilds are scheduled based on the MTTF statistic. What is mean time to failure MTTF? Mean time to failure MTTF represents the length of time that an item is expected to last in operation until it fails. MTTF equals total hours of operation divided by total number of units. All preventive maintenance management programs assume that machines will degrade within a time frame typical of their particular classification. For example, a single stage, horizontal split case centrifugal pump will normally run 17 months before it must be rebuilt. Using preventive management techniques, the pump would be removed from service and rebuilt after 17 months of operation. The problem with this approach is that the mode of operation and system or plant-specific variables directly affect the normal operating life of machinery. The mean time between failures MTBF, is not the same for a pump that handles water and one that handles abrasive slurries. The normal result of using MTBF statistics to schedule maintenance is either unnecessary repairs or catastrophic failure. In the example, the pump may not need to be rebuilt after 17 months. Therefore, the labor and material used to make the repair was wasted. The second option using preventive maintenance is even more costly. If the pump fails before 17 months, it must be repaired using run-to-failure techniques. Analysis of maintenance costs has shown that repairs made in a reactive mode are normally three times greater than the same repairs made on a scheduled basis. What is predictive maintenance? Predictive maintenance is a management technique that, simply stated, uses regular evaluation of the actual operating condition of plant equipment, production systems, and plant management functions to optimize total plant operation. The output of a predictive maintenance program is data. A comprehensive predictive maintenance management program uses the most cost-effective tools such as vibration monitoring, thermography, tribology to obtain the actual operating condition of critical plant systems and based on this actual data schedules all maintenance activities on an as-needed basis. As a maintenance management tool, predictive maintenance can provide the data required to schedule both preventive and corrective maintenance tasks on an as-needed basis. Instead of relying on industrial average life statistics, such as mean time to failure, 
to schedule maintenance activities, predictive maintenance uses direct monitoring of the operating condition, system efficiency, and other indicators to determine the actual mean time to failure or loss of efficiency for each machine train and system within the plant. Predictive maintenance techniques There are a variety of technologies that can and should be used as part of a comprehensive predictive maintenance program. Since mechanical systems or machines account for the majority of plant equipment, vibration monitoring is generally the key component of most predictive maintenance programs. However, vibration monitoring cannot provide all of the information that will be required for a successful predictive maintenance program. This technique is limited to monitoring the mechanical condition and not other critical parameters required to maintain reliability and efficiency of machinery. It is a very limited tool for monitoring critical process and machinery efficiencies and other parameters that can severely limit productivity and product quality. Hence, as previously noted, it must be iterated that a comprehensive predictive maintenance program must include other monitoring and diagnostic techniques. These techniques include, 1. Vibration monitoring, 2. Thermography, 3. Tribology, 4. Process parameters, 5. Visual inspection, and 6. Other non-destructive testing techniques. Most comprehensive predictive maintenance programs use vibration analysis as the primary tool. Because most normal plant equipment is mechanical, vibration monitoring provides the best tool for routine monitoring and identification of incipient problems. However, vibration analysis does not provide the data required on electrical equipment. Areas of heat loss, condition of lubricating oil, or other parameters that should be included in your program. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.